Hi guys! So I thought I'd do another sort of refresher review on Dare to Be from Raquel Welsh. So I've had her coming up to a year actually soon, um, in the next couple of months. And she was the first review I did that was really kind of <laughs> a bit dodgy. So I thought I'd redo it in some nice lights so you can actually see her in her full sort of glory really. So this is obviously Dare to Be and as you can see the colour is like, she's a stunning almost lavender, lavender light purple with these pink candy floss bits running through her you can see there with the darker root and i think because it's against this color it almost looks like an ashy a dark ashy blonde root but then in some lights she does look almost really dark but i'd kind of say because it's against this it's almost like a really dark ashy blonde so she is a bob length as you can see i'll, I'll spin around She's like a long bob and she is a HD fibre. Now, to be honest, the HD fibre I found to be a bit more of a pain, if I'm perfectly honest. I really love the fact that she is a nice choppy length. So you can shove her on and there's not much faff in terms of worrying about getting caught in your clothes and all getting all a bit skaggy at the back. You know, she's a great, great length and a great style. I would say with the HD fibre, she does take a bit more maintenance to keep looking sort of sleek and smooth, which anyone that uses HD fibres will, will kind of get. And to be honest, I can't be bothered with the hassle. I'd have loved it if she was completely synthetic, to be perfectly honest, because I love that chic bob style. I have curled her a couple of times, but I just prefer her straight, to be, to be honest. Um, and as you can see, like if you don't, if you don't straighten, so I haven't straightened her in, in probably a couple of months and I've worn her probably three times in the past couple of months and you can see she does start looking a bit slightly bedraggled um, quite quickly and that's purely because of the fibres. It's not because she's a rubbish cheap wig or anything like that. So that would be literally my only comment on her. As, as a wig, I mean, she looks absolutely fabulous. I mean, look, she's cute, right? Absolutely cute. She does have a lace front temple to temple, as you can see from there to there. The crossover from the lace front to the weft isn't, it's not flawless, put it that way. As you can see, you can see quite clearly where the wefts hit the lace, which to me, to be honest, I'm not that bothered because I'm not that much of a perfectionist when it comes to, you know, my hair. I'm not too fussed about it looking absolutely bob on. But if you were really, really fussy and you wanted that absolutely sleek, perfected look, that is something to be aware of, especially if you do like to sort of pin her back or have her sort of off your face, you will be able to see the transition quite easily. So I'll show you inside her. In terms of the cap itself, she is a fairly cheap cap construction. And I don't really mind these, to be too honest, the, the wefted backs. A lot of people do find them a bit itchy and a bit scraggly because you can kind of feel the wefting on your head. But because I have got a buzz, I don't particularly, it doesn't bother me at all. Um, and with my buzz, I do find it quite comfortable. I have a 22 and a half inch circumference head. So fairly big noggin. And she actually fits really nicely. So you have the felt ear tabs with the pins in the back, in the sides, felt at the back, uh, Velcro uh, adjusters and then you have that lace front, excuse all that, that is just where I've glued it and I haven't washed it yet, sexy. Um, also with a monofilament top so you can change the part in as you like. So as a fun wig, you know, I think she's brilliant, she's not the most expensive, she's very cheap and cheerful but as a really fun wig and a really luscious colour, like I can't rave about the colour enough, it's, it's really stunning. I mean, look, she's really nice but she is very much cheap and cheerful in my eyes. I wouldn't say, you get what you pay for and she's, she's great for that purpose. Um, but no, I think, I think she's really nice, but they're, they're the only point as I'd say, if you are really fussy and you want something that's flawless, that's not really what you're gonna get with her. Um, but for color and a bit of fun, you're ticking all the boxes, she, she, she's brilliant. So this is Dare To Be from Raquel Welsh, available at the Palooka Salon. Speak to you soon guys, bye.